who please call her Catherine. Where did you get that from? Oh, just, you know, my buddies at the palace. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got... <laughs> I've got people. The bus boy. <laughs> That's right. Ally Richard Reed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kim Kardashian's mum, uh, Kris Jenner, has spoken out about her daughter's divorce. Uh, let's take a listen to her. She says, Mommy, this is what I feel that I need to do. Please trust me. Please be there for me. And of course, as her mom, I'm with my girls, you know, the, through thick and thin. And it's tough. It's, it's, sorry, I didn't mean to go to the emotional place but it's a tough time for the family and for Kim and for you know everybody involved it's really hard to go through this on such a public stage I said look you're not the first person to ever get divorced and you won't be the last no matter how much time has gone by you are human and you were strong and brave enough to stand up and say look I've made a mistake mm -hmm. I'm yeah. really sorry it's you know and all this stuff that comes out and the people that lash out it's painful and it's hurtful but you know, we're just trying to weather the storm right now. All right, Lisa, weathering the storm? Yeah, I mean, she's still a mum, and I'm sure she is upset that her daughter's going through that, but kind of what do you expect? I mean, Kim herself has said in the last 24 hours, in, in the many, many, many interviews that she's done, that she realised that she was living her life for the cameras, and she got caught up, and she got to a point where she thought, well, I can't turn back now because I've got so many cameras trained on me, and I've got three, 33 carats worth of rock <laughs> sitting on my finger. She said she's in love, and she, that's why she got married. Which makes me think there is still a bit to come on this story. Um, because but what's the mum supposed to do, though? If Kim has said, I'm in love with this person, I'm going to get married. Mum, that's all you can do as a parent, and that's, you know, the ongoing <laughs> dilemma that you have is... Do I just be there for when they fall or hmm. do I tell them what I think they should be doing? Every parent has that dilemma and obviously Kris Jenner has decided that she's going to go along with it. But it's a funny role that she plays to be mother and manager and almost Svengali of all the money-making deals. There's got to be moments when she kind of has to cross the line. So, it, yeah, she's, she's in a very unusual role. Georgie, have you ever gone to that emotional place? Look, I think you're giving the whole thing way too much oxygen. I've got two words to say. Kim Car cashing in. Oh, Georgie. nice, Georgie. Yeah. Gigi. She's part of the fabric of our news environment, though, Georgie. Wow. You've been reporting on it all day. We have. It was in the news last night. The high rating news. She said she'd only do two words, Carl. You're trying to milk something. All right, that's if, gone if you, dry. all right, hang on a second. Where are you going to draw the line then from now? If you're the presenter of the bulletin, are you going to say go up to the <laughs> stairs, upstairs to the managers, and say I'm not doing Kardashian? Are you going to do that? You're going to put your foot down? I'm not going to do Kardashian. You'll have support out there today at nine.com.au. There'll be lots of support. Are you going Carl, to put you your know foot I down? Carl, you know I always do as I'm told. Oh rubbish. <laughs> well, I would like to see that. Enough said. No more Kardashian. Georgie Gardner. Kardashian in. <laughs> Kakashin in. You got it. You got it. It's magnificent. <laughs> After the break, all the Hollywood gossip with Richard Reed. You wouldn't give up such delight. Oh, you know what? Wow, GG's one <laughs> tough lady today, I am telling you. Okay, well, Chris and Kim, what's next for the hunk who got left? After 72 days, we'll tell you Chris's plans coming up.